Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will see how to take a screenshot in Selenium web driver. This we have already seen. Now we will see how to take multiple times. So I will give the description box uh, link of my old video how to take a screenshot in Selenium web driver. Now we will see how to take uh, multiple times uh, screenshot because see if you uh, go through that last video you see that these two lines code using these two lines code we will be able to take screenshot but here is the problem suppose for further for the detail for these two lines you can refer those video i will give the link in the description box in short i will just repeat uh, what we are doing in these two lines is we are using take a screenshot class and then with the help of get a screenshot we are making it as a output file and it's a type of file and we are storing in this variable f now what we are doing this is a destination of this is the source of the uh, file and copy file is a screenshot is already taken with the help of take screenshot and all now we have to store it in a physical location where we can see the uh, screenshot and we can see for uh, we can do further actions so now to uh, store this screenshot we are copying this screenshot in in this location with the name of this uh, the name name of this file so you name this name you can give anything and this path also you can decide as per your wish so uh, this will copy see this is the location where I am storing the screenshot and I will show you it will go it will open that page and there it will save the screenshot and I will show you the issue what is happening this is very good for taking single time screenshot but in real time we might uh, need to take multiple times right one per action you perform and then another action again you need to take a screenshot and also what it will do i'll show you the problem as well so this is loaded done and we'll see whether it is taking the screenshot or not see this this has taken the screenshot right It will load see this screenshot is done but what will happen if we want to take the screenshot multiple times first this this will always save it with the same name and that will overwrite the old one right and another thing what will happen if you want to change it what you have to do you have to use these two line again and again suppose first time you are after loading the application you are taking the screenshot second time what you are doing you are clicking on some link and you are taking the screenshot suppose we are clicking on the home link and we are taking the screenshot so let's perform the action and i will show you what the problem will come right so i'm checking the x path so see, go to menu, go to home and see this is the home. So let's check the X path for this, right? So tag was A and then we'll take the text, text equals to home so we can use this screenshot we can use this x path in our code and we can perform the link so driver dot it should be small because we have to use the object not driver driver dot find element by dot x path
and then we'll perform the click action right now we have to take the screenshot correct so what we will do we will again copy paste the same file copy paste the same two lines of code right and here we have to change this variable name also right and then here also we have to change the variable name and then we have to change this name suppose home page right and then that should work correct but what is the problem here suppose you have to uh, do 100 times and then suppose one action you are performing and taking a screenshot another action you are performing and taking a screenshot so what what you are supposed to do write 100 actions and each and below each and every actions write these two lines and change the screenshot name and variable name that will be really very tedious task and moreover that code will not be accepted because this is not a good coding practice practice so what we should do we can make a method for these two lines and call it again and again so so what we have to do we have to go out of this class see here I am writing in the same class but in real time you will be having one classes only for methods so there you have to write it and call it in this class but for convenience I am showing it here to call it from other class what will you do you will make a object of that class and with the help of that object you will call it here right but to convenience purpose I am writing this uh, method here same method you have to write wherever you are maintaining all the methods right so here we'll make keep to these two lines in another method and we will call the same otherwise our code will be rejected same duplicate code and other stuff and that's not at all recommended and it's not a good coding practice so public static void we are creating a method so let's give the method name is cap because this class name we have already given capture screenshot so now we have to give some different so I will uh, change it some spellings that's it and then we have to write these two lines in this method correct and we have to pass the variable as a web driver type will be web driver driver right now what is it showing as source declaration and then see now the issue will be every step if you call it every step if, if you call it it will be the name will be the same to change the name also we can do something it's very easy here instead what we can do we can provide we can take the name as a runtime so for that we have to pass one more variable name right so every time whenever we use it the name will be different so it be it will be easy for us to differentiate it right now see we have to pass the variable we have to create one more where more variable here that will be string right name type will be string so string name so that error also gone and what we can do for every behind below every step we can call this method again and again and we can take the screenshot as many as we want so to call the method what we have to do we have to take the capture screenshot see class has come 
dot see whatever methods we have it will show so we will take this method main method anyways we are writing inside the main method so we will call this method and we have to driver anyways we will pass and this name we have to pass what name you want to pass let's pass the name as a first page we'll application loading so we'll pass the landing page right landing page okay this is done sorry and now same line we have to call the method and here again we have to pass the same line instead landing page will make it as home page because we are clicking on home so let's give the name as home page let's run the test case what taking multiple screenshot whether it's working or not so it is loading the application it is invoking the browser it opened it's passing the data it's loading page is opened it's, it's very fast clicking on home will not be able to load but i'm pretty sure that screenshot will be kept at let's see see till now See now, initially it was our only one runtime run screenshot. Now it came to landing page, and let's see that home page, whether it is coming or not. See home page also came. Initially it was runtime when we did not uh, do second uh, another action. So if you remember, without when we did not create any. Any uh, method we were just simply uh, simply writing two lines code. Then it, we gave the name as runtime, so it that was still there. And then we change it to landing page and home page. So screenshot is captured now with the new uh, customized name or not. It's easy for us to find out, and this coding practice is everywhere acceptable. So thank you guys for watching my video.